Hi Capricorn, I trust you are well and that you will have an amazing month that is left of February and the month of March. This is going to be your mid-month to mid-month tarot reading. Um, I will be doing your love reading at um, on an extended link. The link will be in the description box below if you are interested regarding your love life. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm doing this reading on the 13th of Feb. If you want to know regarding your twin flame soulmate, love interest, current committed relationship, I have done a Valentine's reading. The link will be in the description box below as well. You have got 10 of abundance and 7 of action. So there's someone possibly around you that is not, no, no, you know, very upfront and honest with you. Your commitment is being tested. Now let's quickly see. Yeah. <sighs> you are being called upon to claim your personal power. Now feel confident as the angels will give you your strength. But with the seven of action normally, this is amplifying and saying that uh, a matter, a legal matter, a family matter, a person or a situation is not very upfront. They are not forthcoming. Your commitment. Now, commitment might mean in your current love connection. It might mean your commitment towards your family, your love life or your work is being tested. Then you've got the Ten of Abundance. This is really a beautiful card. And it's also saying that you will be provided with many blessings. You and your family members are protected. And you also um, basically should be very proud of yourself. How far you have come in life. Um, so let's quickly check with Tarot. What do we need to know? Most important messages for Capricorn. From the 15th of February until the 15th of March. Spirit, Angel Guides, you currently or someone around you is currently feeling like a wounded warrior. Someone is feeling a bit out of place. Someone is not sure about a lot of things in their life. But we've got the Judgment and the Nine of Pentacles. Now this is either you that will receive judgment or this person around you. Um, that's going to receive their judgment. Normally with the judgment card is basically amplifying someone returning from a past or a past situation returning again. <coughs> Sorry, to come around and to come and test you. With the Nine of Pentacles, this is telling me that you are stable, you are happy. In your current situation, you are feeling balanced and um, you've got enough of you know everything that is enough for you remember each and every one of us has got our own freedoms and we've got our own enoughs <laughs> um okay the seven of swords came out twice so this is basically a recommendation some sort of a warning for you mid-month to mid-month um, of march 2022 telling you within a situation a legal matter a work matter, a family matter, a friendship matter, a work colleague matter. Someone in this dynamic is not very upfront and honest. <coughs> We've got the magician. Now, regarding this, I feel with you and the magician, it can be regarding a Gemini person. But you've got the tools and you've got the equipment to keep your stability, to keep your life balance. You already know the answer towards this because the thing is now the tower is possibly going to come around and it's going to cause a little bit of a shake up in a certain area in your life normally when the tower comes in it's basically telling you that in some area in your life there is um, a situation that someone is not you know if I can say it like that a house is built on sand as they would say in the scriptures, a house is built on sand and it's not basically a solid foundation. And somewhere in your life, there is not a solid foundation. Now you need to know and to see where in your life is there something that is out of place. Because if 
this tower comes in, it will going to present you with a new opportunity, a new business opportunity, a new money opportunity, a long-term stability opportunity. It can be regarding a new business project as well. If you've got your own business, it might mean inheritance. It might mean as well um, a promotion at your work. Take it out, resonate when this tower comes in. Um, what else do we need to know for Capricorn? Yeah, either you or a person do you know that is currently feeling defensive or shy. I do feel regarding this person with the Seven of Swords, it is giving you a clear indication regarding this person that there is someone around you in your family, in your work, in your friendships. That someone is shying away. Someone is either feeling defensive or something. Um, and the thing is now regarding this opportunity with this person or this business or this work that is not upfront and honest, that is a bit, you know, behind and deceitful and dishonest. Regarding this matter or this person, it is either required of you to have strength in the matter and be courageous and present a person with apology or this person needs to present you with apology because there needs to be equal give and take in this matter or the situation. There needs to be equal give and take. So whatever you give, that person takes and other, other way around. Whatever that person gives, you take. Um... Let's quickly see and clarify. Yeah, you see, you've got the progression from the nine of pentacles to the ten. So this is telling me because you already have a deep knowing um, what is required, what is needed. You've got the tools and the equipment to keep your stability. If this possible tower comes in, you will know. You will know. You will definitely know. You've got a deep knowing. Let's quickly clarify the judgment card and see why is the judgment card here and one card on the tower. So let's quickly see. Let's quickly see. One card on the tower card. This person or the situation regarding your job, regarding your family, regarding a work possibility um, is causing you with the Eight of Swords, anxiety, overthinking, contemplating, um, sleepless nights, um, you are feeling a loss, or this person is feeling a loss, a lack in their life. But as you can see with, these, with this card, there is two people here, and the one is on crutches. This is a church or a building. Now, Normally with the five of pentacles, it is, says money loss, some sort of a loss in your life. But the thing is now with the five of pentacles, it is basically telling you that this two people can make a decision either to come together, to have an apology, to talk things out, to work things out, to go inside this church. But there is some sort of um, pride yeah and these people wants to keep on following their heads that is why why is the judgment card here for capricorn why is the judgment card here regarding a quick rapid informa informative message that is going to come in now with this um, knight of swords and the tower this is normally unforeseen these things come in unannounced, unasked for. And the thing is now, as we've seen with the tower, this is regarding a new opportunity, a new career, a money opportunity, long-term stability. But you're going to receive this information quick, quite rapidly, quickly. And that is why the judgment card is here. Let's quickly see, I want to pull you another card as well with the dream keeper. Most important messages for Capricorn, mid-month to mid-month, Feb to March. There might be 
an official person that is going to be playing a role. Now remember, official person does not have to be police. They can be someone from the government. They can be someone from a medical institution. They can be someone from that is official, a lawyer, a judge. Um, it might be a friend that you know that is going to be playing a significant role in your life. Um, this time period, it can be regarding a mature man, a mature woman um, that you know. Let's what they see with the angel guidance. What else do you need to know for mid month to mid month Capricorn? Most important messages. You see, uh, so as this message come into you with the Knight of Swords, it is asking you, wait patiently, there's more info coming. So Capricorn, I hope I could help. Please look after yourself. Have an amazing month of February. Have an amazing month of March. If you are interested in your love reading regarding this possible deceitful, dishonest person that can be regarding your current love connection or your interest or your love dynamic, there will be a love reading in the description box below with a link. And then if you are interested in your Valentine's readings, because I'm doing these readings on the 13th of February 2022, there will be a link in the description box below as well. So look after yourself. Keep well. Thank you for being here. Bye, guys.